coming back to again the healthcare establishment, doctors, we're always skeptical. Uh, for example, you started with the peripheral blood smear, and you will have a, a series of other projects down the line. What kind of validations? Uh, at the end of the day, doctors always want evidence-based medicine. Uh, so, what kind of strategy do you have? and to make sure when you go in front of a doctor or a hospital administrator, this is the data I have, this is the validations I have. I'm sure some of these will be looked in by the regulatory authorities also, but still, uh, maybe take us through the real yes, validation. Sir. So the part of the clinical validation of any solution, and specifically a diagnostic solution, or a diagnostic aid for doctors, is very well defined, uh, both statistically as well as clinically. Uh, they are looking for a set of a sample set where uh, you compare your results with uh, with the existing state of the art solution. Now, the existing state of the art solution in our case uh, is one of two types. Uh, is there, there might be uh, a machine doing the same thing today, uh, using some different principles, uh, not AI, uh, things like a hematology analyzer. Again, sure. doing blood count, blood cell counts, but in a, using a totally different technology. So you might need to compare your results against those. So it's a blind comparison. Uh, the other case may be that today the same thing is being done manually by specialists. So in those cases you need to compare against the output of the, of the same sample uh, analysis output from a panel of uh, medical specialists. So these are two main uh, types of validation which are happening. And then obviously there are statistical parameters which will be compared for each of these validations. This is on the statistical side and it's, it's, it's a established practice in medicine. Uh, for any new solution which comes to the market. But specifically for AI based solution, there's another another angle that we need to be very cognizant of, and that is the comfort of the physicians or the doctors or the pathologists and the radiologists will be finally using the solution. They need to be com comfortable with it first of all because it's a totally new technology and it's suggesting things that they thought machines would not be doing uh, anytime soon. Uh, but apart from that, they also need to be. Uh, satisfied that the results that they are seeing can be validated and that is why we have a very uh, high impetus on visual backing of any metric that we put in our report. So in our in case of our Shonef report, this is a blood peripheral blood cell analysis, every metric that we report, you can actually go from the metric numerical, numerical, numerical value to the set of cells, the images of the cells which we analyze to arrive at that metric and then from the cells you can even go down to the field of view from the microscope which we get up to cell. So it's all about making the final users of the solution, in the, which, which in this case are doctors and uh, pathologists, as transparent as, as, transparent as possible. Thank you.